Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, while there's certainly a degree of uncertainty uh, with uh, the storm Sandy and where it may go, you know, data that I've been looking at, our weather team has been looking at, getting us uh, more and more concerned that uh, potential impacts here in New England uh, continue to grow. But we're talking about, you know, four days out. So there's, there, a lot can happen. But, you know, based on the data that we've been looking at, uh, getting concerned here of some rain and wind. In the meantime, uh, things are quiet. But down in the Caribbean, the storm getting stronger. I've been uh, keeping an eye on this high resolution satellite photo. You can only use it. Uh, during the daylight hours and I've been waiting for the eye of the storm to form and you can clearly see this little play it back one more time this little dot right in there so that kind of a signature here you know looking at all this information tells us the storm is getting stronger in fact the hurricane center flew a plane in there and the winds are now 80 miles per hour we will obviously get to Sandy in just a second first go locally here for a second and take a look at the short term forecast still holding on to clouds but really not much in the way of precipitation in fact uh, you know heading out the seeding I'm not anticipating any weather problems other than just cloudy, cool skies, maybe a sprinkle. Midnight, the temperature will drop off to around 50. Let's take it into the future, starting off overnight in the, the evening hours, showing mainly cloudy skies, but essentially dry. Here we are tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. with clouds, maybe a sprinkle, but essentially uh, dry, quiet weather. And then during the afternoon, a little sunshine will sneak through the cloud cover, but uh, not anticipating any kind of stormy or rainy weather for tomorrow. And then to tomorrow evening, just partly cloudy conditions. So bottom line, tomorrow's a quiet day. Here it is more detail during the afternoon. Temperatures in the lower 60s, clouds, a little bit of sunshine and winds light out of the southeast at the 5 to 10. Lower 60s in our northern suburbs, clouds and some partial sunshine. A dry day, so if you earn a living working outdoors, it's not too bad. And low 60s across uh, southeastern Massachusetts. All right, let's get to Sandy. In the Caribbean, the winds now up to 80 miles per hour, Category 1 hurricane. And feel fairly confident of the track in the short term, taking it north across Cuba, through the Bahamas, all off the coast of Florida and off the coast of the Carolina coastline. But where it goes beyond that point remains to be seen. But, you know, traditionally, as hurricanes come up the East Coast, uh, they tend to eventually bend out to sea. But where they bend out to sea determines whether or not we get hit or not uh, with some of the hurricanes that have hit southern New England. Uh, this will do something completely different, and it's very rare. As it looks like it's getting ready to bend out to sea, last minute it will do this sort of left-hand hook, what we call retrograding. In other words, it will go in reverse and back in towards the coastline late Sunday night into Monday and Tuesday of next week, bringing with it rain, wind, and coastal flooding. The magnitude of that rain and wind remains to be seen but it has the potential to be significant and why we want to watch the situation very closely in the coming days. In the meantime, uh, we're looking okay next uh, several days. Uh, we'll start to bring in some showers in here on Sunday, but the timetable to watch closely is Sunday night into uh, Monday as far as potential impacts from Sandy with some rain and some wind. WPRI.com to check in with our weather blogs and to see how the storm is uh, behaving in